Hey everyone, I am here, uh, and I just did all of the dishes in the sink because I am a good worker. Um, mainly because um, stuff's just kind of been piling up, uh, because I had some people over. Anyway, uh, I am going to be making a recipe that I first heard about uh, from one of my favorite YouTubers, Hyla Cooking. I'll probably post a link to her video, and you know what, I'll probably even post this as a video response because I've been planning on doing a video response for ages. Um, to, to something. I'll probably, one of the people who I've always wanted to post a video response to is uh, Mallow610, I think. Uh, I don't know if he has a way of saying the numbers that is more correct than that. But that's how I'm going to say it, because I don't know how persnickety people are. So yes, we're going to be making a uh, kind of a mushroom, mushroom puff pastry thing. Um, mushroom puff pastry thing, go! It's David Show, he's David and he's got a show. Okay, so I just have a pan here, pretty much just just out, and I minced up, I don't know if this is mincing, um, but that's what I did with it. I basically just finely chopped up uh, some mushrooms and then uh, a little bit of shallot, uh, not even the whole shallot because I'm not, they're kind of, I don't know how to describe them. Onions make my eyes water, they make me cry. So we're just going to dump it all in this pan. Hoping to get everything in there, and then pretty much just gonna let it cook uh, until all of the juices are uh, are kind of you know out and about. Um, I guess what we're doing basically we're trying to caramelize the shallots here uh, so that they get a more um, more. Uh, rich, because when you, they get more sugar in them basically, because when you caramelize um, onions, uh, they become sweeter. I've never been able to uh, describe an onion without using the phrase oniony, um, and they're very oniony. Um, I guess I would describe them as bitter, since technically they are poisonous in very, very, very large amounts, um, but that's that's not really here nor there. Um, so yes, this is just gonna, this actually takes like no time at all. Uh, I have it on a medium heat. Um, I'm still getting used to cooking on gas because growing up I only had electric stoves. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how well this goes. Um, albeit it's a lot more fun to do. Um, and then just FYI, you can also add salt and pepper. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Um, so I'll leave it You're also going to want to have just out. See, we're getting rid of a lot of the um, a lot of the water in the mushrooms. Guess that makes this a reduction. I do not know my cooking terms. Sure, I'm also have some white cooking wine out. You can use regular wine if you want if you're cheap. Um, but I'm just using cooking wine. I've never really tasted a difference. It's all wine to me. Hila can correct me if she wants, but oh my goodness, it's already smelling delicious. This is gonna take like five seconds, so we will let this cook, and I will speed up the rest of it until I add the wine. Okay, so as you can see, these have gotten quite, uh, quite softened. Uh, and they're very brown, so we're just going to add just a dash of this, by which I mean a lot. Um, it doesn't really matter. You just want it to seep into the flavor there. Um, and it's going to smell delicious. And then we're just going to let that simmer until the wine evaporates. And I'm going to turn the heat down ever so slightly. Um, and yes, then... After this all gets reduced, we're going to do the puff pastries next, so I will see you then. Okie dokie here. So now that we have all of this cooked up into a nice, you don't even need that much, uh, and it reduces a lot, so um, we have some cream cheese here, and really to do this I just use two spoons. Um, you can put these on after you do this, it doesn't really matter, but because I'm a stickler for 
presentation, I guess, I will put them on first. Now, if you're a stickler for cross-contamination, you can use a different spoon, but I don't really care. So you just take a little bit, like so, on each. Now, if you have that, you can fold these any way you want. I usually just take them either and put all the corners together. It doesn't really matter because the corners usually come undone anyway as they cook. Um, so it is, it's kind of a futile endeavor, but you know. Well, hope for the best and expect the worst. Cool. So, as you can see, they have all been kind of put together, some of them a bit more sloppily than others, because, frankly, they all look fine when they cook. Um, and I am just going to put these in an oven for a little bit, and then we can enjoy some nice mushroom puff pastries. Yay! Ah, it's so toasty, and they're just out of the oven. So, yay, lots of fun stuff. So I'm gonna eat this now, and probably like five more of them. Uh, some of the smaller ones, like this, turned out just absolutely excellent. Like, they're so small and like just bite size. You could serve them just up like that as, as little, little trinkets, I guess I would call them. Um, but yes, yes, there's that. Um, who knows? Maybe if I post these to Hyla and Mallow, then I'll get more than three views. I've noticed I either get like three views on a video or five views on a video. So hopefully I'll get four views at some point. Uh, just, you know, even it out. Oh, timer. Sorry about that. So let's, let's. Mm. Okay, hot for one. So note to self, let these cool, but other than that, they're delicious and super easy to make. Um, aside from getting the puff pastries, which I just get the sheets, they come in a little box like this, and you can get them, they're made by Pepperidge Farm, um, and they even have a little recipe on the back if you want some spinach cheese swirls. I might try that sometime. Who knows? So anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go eat these and clean the rest of my house so that my 4th of July celebration in like two days um, will be all good and maybe not as hot in this house because I turned on an oven when it's 100 degrees outside now. 102. So yay! <laughs>